Okay, I'm here with uh, Reverend Martin Canham, who's been using uh, the internet and video in these times, basically to reach out to his congregation. Um, and I'd just last, like to ask you, Martin, how did you start doing this and, and kind of what equipment do you use to do it? So we pre-record a service um, of communion, a uh, short half hour service uh, for those people who would have normally worshipped in one of our more lit liturgical um, basic um, congregations. So we pre-record that on a Friday and then we've posted that on our Facebook page and on YouTube. Um, our youth group has a regular evening youth service anyway. They've just simply switched to Zoom. So on the first week, they managed to have 50 different people in 50 different homes sharing in worship uh, over Zoom, which was really fantastic. Uh, and then for our morning congregations, we've offered a, a Facebook live stream on the last two Sundays, which has been a bit tense and uh, stressful putting it together, but it's, it's come off OK. And uh, people have really appreciated being able to connect together over uh, essentially a 45 minute Facebook live stream. So you, you say about the microphone, this isn't, you're not talking about the microphone built into the phone. You've, you've, you bought a separate microphone, is that right? And then you, you plug that in? Um, the first week we did it just with the microphone in the phone uh, and that worked okay, it, it was good enough. Um, we've since been able to improve that, yeah, by plugging a microphone into a phone. Um, and this week we're taking it a little bit further. We've got a little bit of kit that allows you to plug other audio sources in as well. Um, so it will allow us to interview people by, by Zoom and then get their audio into the live feed, uh, use music in the live feed as well. So it, we, we tried to get a little bit better each week just to get the sound better. But we started off really simple, just with a mobile phone. And you've chosen Zoom, Zoom over something like Facebook, which also does uh, live streaming, or is, is that another alternative? Was so the live, streaming, the live streaming is done on Facebook. Okay. Um, so that is a Facebook live stream. We chose Facebook largely because we had a, a quite a popular Facebook page anyway. So our parish was used to looking to Facebook uh, for social media and information. Um, and so it was obvious to turn there for the live feeds. Um, we have also connected with YouTube so that people who don't want to use Facebook, uh, we can then put the video up on YouTube. It makes it easier to find. Um, I mean, we've been amazed in just two weeks how far the reach goes. Um, so it has gathered people from our own congregations, but they've sent it on to friends, family. Um, so we've had people watching us live from Dubai, from Germany, um, you know, all over the country. It seems that people have been more willing to share our online worship with their friends and family uh, than they are to invite people into a physical building. So you know, we've had... You know, we've been amazed how, how far services have reached. In yeah, which, which, which I guess is something you obviously can't do in the services. And in some ways, it might, it might be an advantage in that people can't always attend a normal Sunday service at 10 o'clock or whatever. And yet they can, they can kind of see you um, at their leisure, if you like, at any time they choose. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I think we've tried to focus our worship on a Sunday. So we even the pre-recorders that we put up on online on a Sunday, and I think we are going to take them down each week, um, so that it is a, it is Sunday worship rather than uh, a kind of a video that we make forever. Yeah, um, it, yeah. it is it's trying to offer worship in the moment, um, and uh, so we are encouraging people onto the live stream, so that we actually share together at at uh, ten thirty on a Sunday morning. And um, and has it. Has it been a problem perhaps reaching out to some people who might have otherwise been um, technophobic? Um, have they kind of made the effort to, to find you? Have you, have you found you I mean, it has quite a, a lot of older people as well. So we've been quite amazed how many of those people do use, use email and the internet. So finding a video on YouTube is relatively straightforward. So lots of people have been able to, to connect with that. Um, we have set up a, we've managed in a week three uh, to get the um, kind of a more traditional service onto DVD as well. And we now have a system for posting that DVD to anyone who's not connected to the internet at all. Well, thank you very much, Martin. You did a great job there. So uh, thank you. Cheers.